சிற்றம்பலம் ஆடும் பரிவேல் அணி சேவல் என பாடும் பணியே பணியாய் அருள்வாய் தேடும் கயமா முகனை செருவில் சாடும் தனி யானை சகோதரன் திருச்சிற்றம்பல் என் நாடுடைய சிவனே போற்றி என் நாட்டவர்க்கும் இறைவா போற்றி ஏகம் பத்துரையந்தாய் போற்றி பாகம் பண்ணுறானாய் போற்றி பராய்த்துறை மேவிய பரணே போற்றி சிராப்பள்ளி மேவிய சிவனே போற்றி அண்ணாமலை அம்மண்ணா போற்றி கண்ணார் முத கடலே போற்றி காவாய் கனக திரளே போற்றி கைலை மலையானே போற்றி போற்றி வெற்றிவேல் முருகனுக்கு அரோகர திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் அண்ட சராசரங்களுக்கெல்லாம் அதிபதியாக விளங்கக்கூடிய முருகப்பெருமானுடைய ஒப்பட்ட பரம் கருணையினாலே அன்பர்கள் எல்லாம் சைவ சித்தாந்தத்தினுடைய கொள்கைகளை ஆங்கிலத்திலே அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்பதற்காக நம்முடைய உழுவல் அன்பர்கள் கத்தார் சரவணன் தம்பதியர் மிகச் சிறப்பாக ஏற்பாடு செய்து நிகழ்த்தி வருகின்ற த பிலாசபி ஆஃப் சைவ சித்தாந்தம் என்கிற தலைப்பில் நாம் இன்றைய தினம் ஆணவ மலமும் மாயாமலமும் கண்ம மலமுமாக இருக்கக்கூடிய மலக்கட்டை பற்றி சிந்திப்பதற்கு திருவருள் கூட்டியிருக்கிறோம் வி ஹவ் பின் டிஸ்கஸிங் இன் த பிலாசபி ஆஃப் சைவ சித்தாந்தம் த பேசிக் த்ரீ என்டிட்டிஸ் emphasized by the saiva siddhantam saiva siddhantam says that there are only three entities any article or any object in this world can be categorized in these three categories that is padi pasu pasam the almighty the soul and the bondage between these two see the soul uh, we have been discussing for the uh, past uh, three or four sessions i think four sessions we have been discussing about the qualities of the soul and subsequently we discussed about the almighty the qualities of the almighty in four sessions now we are going to discuss about the third entity the bondage that lies in between the almighty and the soul uh, we are going to discuss the salian features or the characters characteristics or the uh, qualities whatever you call that we are going to discuss about the uh, bondage as a matter of fact uh, the bondage the basic bondage that is called the anavam in tamil anavam which means the darkness or the ignorance or the impurity or the blockage so many uh, details which qualify the uh, anavam we have been we are going to discuss the soul uh, the it has been uh, suffering a lot through the ages it takes birth it uh, leaves the body again takes the birth birth after birth it is taking so many births and the sufferings never come to an end as a matter of fact the sufferings go on increasing and the moment it comes to this world the moment it leaves this world between these two moments it takes all the sufferings from this world why at all it should suffer this is a basic question why the soul should suffer why not it should uh, plunge into the uh, happiness it plunges into the sufferings as a matter of fact why it suffers at all the basic question we must ask so many people don't uh, investigate they never investigate why they are suffering they think some interim reasons are the uh, basic uh, uh, reasons for their sufferings they attribute uh, the poverty to their sufferings they attribute to their uh, 
ignorance to the suffering of cold. These are all interim uh, reasons for the suffering. But what is the basic suffering for the soul to suffer? As a matter of fact, we can uh, we can conclude or we can uh, combine all these reasons into one single reason. Into one single reason, all the sufferings are due to the birth. If we don't come to this world, if we don't take a birth, then there are no reasons for us to suffer. Suffer. So the souls are taking birth. It seems they are coming here only to suffer. They think that they are happy for some time. To be happy for certain hours, they suffer for a lot of hours. If you just to compare the uh, the experiences of the soul, if you just uh, uh, group the experiences. If you ask anybody, if the experiences are grouped, which you most remember, then the most painful suffering will come to their mind and they will definitely think that the whole life is full of sufferings and in the sufferings, uh, it's woven in between the sufferings, some joy, some happiness. So for those happiness, for those few moments, we have been suffering a lot because of this. So why we should take a birth at all? The second question comes. Okay, all the sufferings are attributed. The whole uh, sufferings may be grouped. And we can think that the sufferings are due to the birth. Souls are coming to this world. You just compare the sufferings of a human being to the sufferings of a dog, to the sufferings of a buffalo, to the sufferings of a cow, to the sufferings of an insect. You just compare. If you just compare, if you just uh, think about the sufferings a dog take from its birth to its last day, you, you cannot imagine, imagine. All the birds, all the animals, all the living things in this world, they suffer. Why the suffering? You just think of the sufferings, why the sufferings are coming to us all. First thing is, we are having a continuous disease of hunger. That is called in Tamil Pasipini. So, you are hunger. To quench your hungry, to quench your appetite, what you do? You move about, see a dog, see a cow, see a buffalo, why it is wandering throughout the day? They are going on searching for their food. So, why they are searching for food? They, because they feel hungry. So, the hunger is the basic reason why the, the suffering starts. The suffering starts from there. The newborn cries. Why the newborn babe cries? Because of hunger. So, the, the day it comes to this world, the first suffering starts. Thirsty. The second suffering. Then the so many diseases. So, because of this association of the body with the soul, all the so all the sufferings are coming to us. Is it not? Nobody can deny it. So because of the why the births should come at all, are they are the births are coming at our will? Do we wish to take birth? Do we specify or prescribe or indicate that this birth I should take in this place I should uh, take the birth? Those things, uh, do you think that we specify? No, not at all. We have come to this world without our will or without our consent. We have anyway come to this world. We took the birth, we are suffering and we will live one day or other, definitely. So you just think of, you just imagine which is the most suffering point, living or leaving. 
you just uh, uh, compare and imagine living in this world is it a suffering living in this world is it a suffering if you just analyze uh, without bias neutrally then you will be able to understand that living in this world attribute all the suffering if you live this world the suffering stop because you don't have a body you don't have a physical body so where does it come from where does it come from the body where does it come from why you should go one day now we can uh, tell the reason that the body or the physical structure or the tatwas or the tools or the instruments whatever you call to associate with this world we have to get this body and we have got this body from where from maya so maya is the first bondage which uh, which bonds the soul with the body or the soul with the world either way you can say either way you can say you are associating with this world only through the body we don't have a body you cannot associate with this world you cannot touch it you cannot experience it you don't have any experiences at all so only through the body the soul touches experiences uh, receives all the impulses only through the body you understand so the soul uh, is made fit enough the soul is made fit enough to associate with this world through this body and this body is offered from the impurity called maya malam it is also an impurity malam malam means impurity maya malam mayai so that is the impurity out of which you get this body and through which you associate with this world so mayai that is the uh, that is an energy form that is an inert energy form it doesn't have any wisdom it is an inner inert energy form mayai inert energy form this is very powerful only out of this maya the whole universe has been evolved the body has also been evolved only from maya only then they will be compatible the body should associate with the world means the world and the body should be compatible unless other is the body is compatible if the body is made up of something else if the world is made up of something else one cannot associate with the other you understand so they should be made compatible means the basic raw materials raw material which is the reason for the blossoming of the universe is also the reason for the body you understand yes so maya malam is a, an impurity out of which the whole universe has been evolved and also your body has also been evolved you have been offered a body a physical structure to associate with the world and it comes from the maya so after the usage after the on the final day after the usage what happens to the body what happens to the body see you can you can uh, infer you can find out uh, a thing uh, if you want to know where it comes from uh, if you want to infer or if you want to find out you find out where it goes on the final day only from there it should have come anything which comes from uh, from a thing it will go uh, and uh, finally it will go and get it closed in the same thing for example from maya that is the basic raw material your body came on the final day it will go and end up with only maya so maya malam maya malam 
is the reason or is the raw material or is out of which it is the one out of which your body has come not only your body any body any physical structure for a bird for an animal for a plant for anything everything the physical structure comes from the maya maya manam so the whole world has been made out of maya now let us uh, think about that okay sir you say that the whole uh, universe the whole world the body comes out of maya okay how it comes out of it by itself or is there anybody responsible for that you just think of the mud you just think of the mud the potter wants to make a, a pot out of it a vessel out of it a mud vessel out of it what he will do he will add water and he will make the pot out of the uh, mud he will make the pot out of the mud now you just think that if you want the pot the pot comes only from the mud okay it's agreed only out of the clay after adding water the potter had made the uh, pot or the vessel out of the clay okay agreed now tell me without the potter can you get the vessel or can you get the pot out of the clay by itself if you want to get the pot you need clay agreed but the pot cannot come out of the clay by itself somebody is responsible for that the potter should be there unless otherwise the potter is there the pot cannot come by itself from the clay of course it needs uh, uh, the wheel and the water the stick all those things accessories are required leave alone these accessories you just uh, think the basic material out of which the pot has been made the clay is the basic material out of which the pot has been made okay but do you think that pot can be made from the clay by itself no a potter is necessary likewise why we are saying like that because pot has no sense clay has also no sense clay doesn't have sense pot has doesn't have sense a senseless thing will not be becoming another thing by itself a sensible person in between is required a sensible person a person with the senses is should be there they, he should be there a person is required if he is there then he will make the part out of the clay so he is the reason you agree so to make things out of the or that is you are uh, reforming reforming the clay has been reformed into a pot of course pot and the clay are the same basic raw material wise they are one and the same but but uh, uh, the clay has become a pot it cannot be formed it cannot uh, reform itself as a pot some sensible person is required to make the clay as a pot likewise maya is like clay the physical structure is like a pot if the pot is to be made out of the maya out of the clay if the pot is to be made out of the clay a pot is required likewise if the physical body is to be made out of the out of the maya then the god is is persons existence is very much required allah said the almighty is that physical bodies cannot be made out of maya 
don't think that father and mother are the reasons for the children they are not the reasons they are only the via media they are only the via media how the uh, how the um, pot is made of the out of the clay only by the by the potter likewise likewise the clay becomes a pot the maya becomes physical structure you just another reason i will give another reason so if you want to make a pot out of the clay you just look at the clay you just look at the clay is there any regular form in that do find a system there you can, can you use it directly no you cannot use it directly but whereas if you see a pot it is a regular shape it has a mouth and it can get filled by water it uh, it is used to hold water it is a systematic structure it is having a, a regular shape all these things are there how comes the system in, into it who makes the system into it so if you understand that any senseless article if it is formed into a systematic thing then that should be a sensible person who has imparted the system into it likewise in maya god the almighty introduced or uh, he has uh, what we can do is what we can say about this is he has made the system into the maya so that if the system is regular that is why the same maya gives the body for a dog the same maya gives the body for an ant the same maya gives an a body for the human being the same uh, maya gives the body for an elephant for a lion you just think of the body how do you think that they are regular in the shape or the varieties are there how the varieties can be made so if it is by nature people say that you know, by nature it comes a physical body structure by nature it comes no nature doesn't have any system nature doesn't have any system the system has been introduced into the system, nature by a sensible person and it's almighty almighty introduced the system for example if i give a clay to you i give a uh, i give a, a, a block of clay to you i am asking you to make a pot out of this or a tumbler out of this can you make it because you are not uh, uh you able to introduce the system to the clay you are not uh, uh, efficient enough or competent enough to introduce the system likewise maya cannot be handled by anybody maya cannot be handled by anybody maya can be handled only by the expertise so maya is known as a, an energy within the control of the almighty parigraha shakti that is why it is known as the parigraha shakti that is the shakti within the control of the almighty so if you just think of maya and energy an inert energy inert energy and of course the very very important point about that is it is the energy under the control of the almighty parigraha shakti it cannot go out of his control that is why that is why he gives body in variety why the soul has been given a body of a lion why another soul is given the body of an ant why the soul uh, is given a body of a human being who gives the almighty gives why he gives in various uh, designs various shapes because he decides which soul should be associated with which type of body he decides is he biased is he prejudiced no not at all vendidal vendamai ilan 
that is how uh, Thiruvalluvar explains him. He is not at all biased. He is not at all prejudiced. He is unbiased. He is neutral. Then why he gives different uh, uh, bodies, varieties of bodies, why he gives? Even for human beings, does he offer the same type of body? One has a tall body, another has a fatty body, another has a fair complexion, another one is a black complexion. Why these different things? Now we come to a decision that even though the God offers the physical structure from the Maya, he follows a pattern. So pattern is there, system is there, pattern is there. If the system, if the pattern, if they exist, then that should be a sensible person. And that proves the existence of the Almighty who handles the Maya to be useful to the souls. You understand? So Maya in no way is helpful to the Almighty. In no way it is helpful to the Almighty. But of course, it is a very big power under the control of the Lord Shiva. So Maya, Maya Malam, it is under the control of the Lord Shiva out of which he introduces a system, he introduces a pattern, he introduces so many details and data and he uses them to make physical structure for different souls in different patterns. You understand? Unless otherwise there is an Almighty, then the Maya Malam cannot be used as we see now. See, people claim that there is no God. They will not be able to explain how the Maya Malam or how the Maya is being used so systematically and so rhythmatically, uh, how it can be used by nature itself. You understand? So, Maya Malam is the basic raw material out of which we get our physical structure, body with the tattvams. Maya Malam is the basic raw material out of which the whole world has been evolved. You see the sun, you see the star, you see the moon, you see the earth, you see so many things in the earth. How do they evolve? They evolve out of Maya. The first time he evolved the world is called in science the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory, if you just go through the Big Bang theory, you can understand how Nadam and Vindu evolved in the first evolution of the whole universe. Scientists also explain the evolution of the universe out of the Big Bang theory that light and sound and light are the first energies those are evolved. That we called Nadam Vindu. You understand? Okay. Nadam Vindu, nothing but the Maya in its original form. So, from the original form of Maya, he has made something. Now, the Maya has been adulterated because if you just, if, if you use the white color, it is pure white. If you apply on a surface or a, a, a colorless place, you will see white. If the place of, or if the surface is already in black, let us say, you apply the white, what will happen? Then black will become grey, white also will become grey. You understand? So the white gets adulterated by the black. Likewise, the souls, when they are offered Maya, the Maya becomes Asuddha Maya. Asuddha Maya, how it was because why the white becomes a grey? Because it is a mixture of black and the white. So, Asuddha Maya is nothing but it is getting adulterated with the existing Malam of the soul. 
okay that will come later now we are discussing about the first malam maya malam that we are discussing uh, when we discuss about the soul when we discuss about the uh, almighty we discussed a lot of uh, details about the anava malam that will come later we have already we have discussed <coughs> some details about the anava malam now we are focusing our attention on maya malam so maya malam what is it maya malam maya malam is the energy is the uh, very strong energy energy and inert energy energy without wisdom energy that's all an energy under the control of lord shiva that is why gnana sambandhar says one maya by why it is called one maya one means only a only a means bright bright only a means bright why he is called bright it is because it is uh, under the control of lord shiva number 1 number 2 it helps the souls to come out of its basic malam anava malam that is why it is called only okay now we have been discussing that <coughs> uh, if you just uh, recollect uh, what we discussed at the uh, in starting of this uh, uh, discussion this session i discussed that the souls are suffering the day one of their birth from day one they are suffering they are suffering in this world why do they suffer because they they have come to this world why they came to this world that we will discuss later they anyway they have come to this world whether they have come to this world out of their will no they have been brought here they have been brought here they have been brought here of course the souls if they are brought here can they associate with this world no they have to be provided with a physical structure so that it can associate with this world so that so that it can be compatible to this world so that it can use this world so a physical structure is offered from maya malam now we have come to the decision that the physical structure has been awarded by the almighty so the almighty gave the physical structure or the almighty is the sole reason or the basic reason for the soul to get the physical structure so that the soul can associate with this world the soul is getting a physical structure it is associating this world it is getting experiences and it is suffering of course so the sufferings are attributed to their births we can we are we have come to this world for suffer to suffer for suffering nothing else if it is not for suffering the great saints the great people will not say piravi tunbam piraviyai tavirthal vendum piravi kadal nindavar nindar iravenadi seradar all these saints why should they give if the baths are happy if they if they give uh, if they are enjoyable why should they say that we should avoid baths baths are sufferings we are coming here to suffer so why we are suffering we have taken baths why we have taken baths god has given the baths but mean what you are uh, given a physical structure why we are given physical structure why should we suffer why should take a birth why should we come to this world why should at all we suffer that is the big question mark that comes from us from us okay sir we understand that out of maya we are getting physical structures or bodies that we understand we understand we get the bodies from the maya malam okay we understand we don't get the bodies by ourselves it has been offered by the almighty that also we understand 
it it has not come from the maya by itself maya has not given us because maya cannot act by itself it is a, a, an inert energy so somebody should operate on it a sensible person should operate on the energy and almighty is the sensible person he operated on the maya and he gave us he gifted us or he awarded us this physical structure so that we are able to take birth we are able to associate in this world okay all these things are clear now now the basic question arises as i already put before you why at all he must give this physical structure why at all we must come to this world why at all we should suffer if he has not given the physical structure we could not have associated with this world all these sufferings would have not come to us why at all he must bring us here that is the basic question he has taken so much of effort sir of course when we talk about the almighty we should not associate him with the efforts sir he does everything effortlessly விளையாட்டாகத்தான் அத்தனையும் செய்கிறான் விளையாட்டு என்று சொல்லுவதற்கு காரணம் வை வி சேல் ஐ தட் பிகாஸ் ஹீ இஸ் டூயிங் தம் எஃபர்ட்லெஸ்லி விதவுட் எனி எஃபர்ட் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் டஸ் எவ்ரி திங் அட் இஸ் வில் அட் இஸ் வில் ஹீ டஸ் ஹீ திங்ஸ் அபவுட் இட் இட் இஸ் பீயிங் எக்ஸிக்யூட்டட் think about it it's being executed he does everything by sangalpam that's what we used to say by sangalpam okay effortlessly he is giving us all these things okay okay sir but why he must bring us to this world why at all we must take birth because if we are not given physical structure we will not be active why at all we should be active because we are with wisdom and we are expected to be active any any soul or any soul inherently blended with wisdom inherently possessing the wisdom should be active we were not active since we were not active we were suffering oh now we come to understand even before our births the souls are suffering we have been suffering throughout our existence so to take us uplift us to liberate us from the suffering he is offering the physical structure out of maya so basically we must understand our births are giving suffering we suffer in this world it is true of course but these sufferings are given deliberately to liberate us from the most big and most horrible sufferings we were uh we were we were uh, suffering with before our births so don't think that before we come to these births we were enjoying or we were uh, uh, painless or those things so don't imagine if we leave our body we are gripped we go to the claw we we were been clutched we have been um, we have been put under the claws of the Uh, darkness the anava malam and the souls are suffering to the core they are suffering only out of pity and sympathy on seeing this god has come forward he has come forward to uplift to liberate the souls from the suffering out of the clutches of the anava so maya malam has been uh, taken for 
exercising or offering us the physical structure god has uh, has been exercising this very big project because we have be we have to be liberated from the suffering so face now we are uh, looking at our buds we are analyzing our sufferings and we think if we leave our birth we will go to uh, a peaceful state and we will enjoy no not like that even if we leave our birth we go to a state where the soul suffer to the core so by leaving this physical structure we are not going to the uh, peaceful zone or happier zone or joyful zone no not like that we go into the darkness and the darkness give us the most painful state so the birth has been given to liberate us from the darkness so god has has been putting forth these efforts to offer us these physical structures this world association and they he wants us to be active because we want to be by him we we have to be liberated from the total suffering of anavam the darkness so we come to the conclusion we come to the conclusion even though the births are to uh, throughout the births we are suffering we have taken lot of births and they are all painful we have been suffering through the births a lot we have taken a birth of a dog we have taken the birth of an elephant we have taken the birth of an ant say any uh, living thing i will say that you have taken that birth at one time pullai pudai puduvai maramaagi palvirugamaagi paravayai paambai peyai kananganai manivasagar lists all those things that he has taken birth of all these things if manivasagar claims why not we we should also understand that we have also taken all these births and come to the now we have come to the uh, human being state but uh, uh, whether the cycle has stopped no but he claims indana karuli he says ella pirappum pirandilaithe nemberuman meye un ponnadigal kandu indru veedutren that's how he claims but we cannot claim now like this the birth cycle has not come to has not ceased it has not come to stop it has not come to an end we are still in the cycle of birth so so all these uh, all these births coming out of this cycle birth cycle we have been taking the our own cycle our own cycle every human every soul has its own cycle of birth so we have taken uh, in this cycle we have taken the human being birth okay births are going on sufferings are going on of course if we don't take birth do you think that we are happy no not at all still we uh, we suffer so the treatment may offer you some uh, painful moments uh, taking medicine doing surgery all these things may give you painful state when you are in a hospital when you are uh, admitted as an inpatient when you are given treatment uh, so many things may be there you may think that your liberty your freedom has been cut right of course it should be it may be true that you are offering tablets you are given you are prescribed some treatments you are given so many uh, details treatment is painful but do you think that treatment if is painful means do you think that disease is more painful than the treatment or less painful than the treatment that we have to decide so instead of thinking that we are suffering it should be considered as a treatment our attitude should be like that that is why in these births when we suffer we should not think that the sufferings are not the suffering they are treatments by god you change your attitude so when we suffer something think that god is giving some treatment 
he is the bavaroha vaidyanathan he gives some treatment that treatment pains me oh it's painful to me of course but the painful treatment will result in joyful release from the disease is it not so uh, my beloved listeners you must uh, understand that the attitude towards the or the concentration towards the existing things the attitude should get changed of course we are getting some we are uh, in neutral we are good still we suffer how can we attribute that you should not think that because i am very uh, an honest man i am a sincere man i am suffering no the attitude should not be like that since you are honest since you are sincere you are not punished you are not punished that is not the rule of the world or rule of the god the rule of the god is what we deserve we uh, suffer what we deserve we realize that's all you must understand okay uh, now the, let us uh, uh, let us have a clear vision let us have a clear idea about the maya malab now we have come to understand god is giving us treatment and for the treatment he has been using a powerful energy source called maya malam which is under his control so maya malam why it is called one maya because it is helpful to soul rather than it is a punishment to the uh, soul so it is not a punishment it is a treatment okay so maya malam maya malam uh, it is an impurity of course it is an impurity the impurity should be removed impurity means by the name itself it should be removed one day or other suppose if your wound is addressed then it should be removed one day or other and, and if the wound is healed then it should not be there isn't it the dressing should be, will be removed by the doctor himself likewise the physical structure has been offered by him for the treatment we have come to this world for treatment the whole treatment for the treatment the physical structure has been given that is why he has given the physical structure can you please understand that the treatment is not same for all patients patient to patient treatment is different so if the treatments are different then the physical structures are also different some souls are to be put in the ant physical structure some souls are to be put in elephant physical structure some ants are to be put in tiger physical structure some of them are to be put in human structure so depending upon the physical structure the treatments are also different you must understand he is very intelligent his intelligence cannot be measured or even thought of you understand <coughs> the gods the almighty's mutrum unarthal per arivu udamai per arul udamai varambil aatral udamai those are all the basic eight qualifications of the almighty eight qualities of the almighty yen gunathan okay maya malam maya the maya malam is the energy source used by the lord used by the lord for liberating the souls which are plunging into the darkness or the anava malam which are which have plunged themselves into the anava malam so to liberate from the anava malam he has been using the uh, most powerful most powerful maya malam maya malam is also uh, should be understood is also to be understood that it doesn't have a beginning or doesn't have an ending that is why anadi the general has, term has been used by tirumular 
பசு பாசம் அனாதி பதியினை போல் பசு பாசம் அனாதி பாசம் பை பாசம் ஹி மீன்ஸ் ஆணவம் மாயாமலம் கண்மமலம் ஆல் த த்ரீ தே டோன்ட் ஹவ் பிகினிங் தே டோன்ட் ஹவ் என்னி அனாதி யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஓகே த ஹோல் செஷன் வி ஹவ் பின் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் த மாயாமலம் which is the most powerful source of energy under the control of lord shiva out of the uh, energy out of the energy under his control he evolved the universe as common to all souls please understand the whole universe is common for all the souls even for an ant or a mosquito or a bug Uh, or a web yeah, for any living thing the whole world has to be shared between all the souls the human being cannot claim that the whole world is owned by him not at all all souls he the god expects all souls with the physical structures they have to share the whole entire world all the sources are to be shared water land fire and also the air sky space all these things to be shared by all the souls ant has to occupy a space required for it for it the elephant has to occupy a space required for it the human being should occupy only a space required for him he cannot own 15 to 16 houses see that is not expected by god god expects a human being should occupy only a space offered for for by him for him by lord shiva he cannot act by he cannot own himself a larger space and and claim that all the space should be used by me no not at all almighty doesn't expect that only the space uh, ear marked he has ear marked the space you understand can the ant say that uh, i am going to occupy the whole space the whole house no it requires a little space it, uh, it it requires only a simple slot to get in and get settled that's all is it not only the human being is very greedy he doesn't he doesn't think that others should also he, he is not allowing even his co existing human beings to share this world how will he allow uh, other uh, souls to share this world so selfish you understand okay i think i have made the point clear maya malam the whole universe has been made out of maya malam by the lord shiva to share by all the souls and individually for each soul he is offering a physical structure out of the maya malam so maya malam is the source of energy under his control out of which he has made this physical structures some of them are made out of the pure maya malam for some pure souls and of course the maya malam pure maya shuddha maya it may get adulterated if they are given physical structures to the souls with the already existing impurities you understand okay so maya malam out of which he also offers physical structures the common world and he has made the system he has introduced the system he has introduced the design according to the design and system the whole maya malam has been used by him by the almighty for different variety of structures different variety of things in this world for example different colors you think of the colors how many hues and all the hues they are able to be detected the eye is able to detect between the so many so many hues the tongue is able to detect so many tastes you understand the ear is able to detect so many difference in sounds you understand it is able to uh, differentiate between the speech of uh, different persons 
somebody talks he is able to say uh, it seems my wife is scolding he, if somebody talks he is able to my son is calling me he is able to differentiate between the sound of his son the sound of the next door boy how he is able to differentiate that is you just think of the, uh, the design details he has designed the eye to differentiate between different hues and colors he has designed the ear to differentiate between the not only that you just see the ear he is able to accommodate large variation of sounds this decibel level it is able to detect a hissing sound and at the same time it is able to detect the thunder so from the thunder sound level to the hissing sound level you see the range all this range has been accommodated in the sensitivity of the ear see how much design he must have taken so much of uh, uh, range of sound range of colors range of uh, taste all those things are uh, packed inside us all the details are packed inside us unless otherwise he is an able designer how it can made possible you just to think of it so likewise uh, people say that it is by nature it is that nature doesn't have sense and the fellow is also not having any sense who claims that the nature is doing all these things nature is not responsible for all these things nature cannot be responsible for all these things because nature doesn't have sense at all only a sensible person sensible thing should be responsible for all these details so maya is a very powerful and also uh, at the hands of god it has so many things have blossomed from the maya mala uh, with that i am just concluding the maya mala and in the next session also i will continue with the maya mala there are lot of other things to be discussed in maya mala also and uh, i appreciate the listeners they have shared their times they have devoted their times to uh, listen to the philosophy to hear the philosophy of saiva siddhantam the philosophy of saiva siddhantam details or discusses the basic details very sharp details of this world and uh, it it is the complete theory to give the uh, relationship between the three entities padi pasu pasam and the pasam we are now discussing maya malam and we are also going to discuss in the future sessions also and we let us thank the almighty who has made it possible and also we wish the qatar couple who have come forward to offer these uh, sessions for uh, for understanding the philosophy of saiva siddhantam even to those people who are not well versed with the tamil they will be able to appreciate the basic concepts of saiva siddhantam so only with that motive the qatar couple mrs sarvana and mrs sarvana they have taken lot of pains to bring about these lectures uh, let me uh, wish them all uh, wealth and health and i also wish all the listeners uh, the blessings of the almighty okay now let us finish and uh, let us conclude this session with the five letter mantra chanting i will chant you please repeat Uh, being in your place it's a trichitrambala om namah shivaya 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 trichitrambala i also want to uh, give you an information that i am editor of gnanathiral most of the session most of the sections are in tamil of course uh, we have been giving tiruvarut payan in english so you can subscribe to gnanathiral you will be able to collect lot of information from gnanathiral uh, we have been devoting the pages to explain a lot of things which are useful to your daily life uh, we are giving details about tirumurai we are explaining devaram tiruvachakam all those uh, uh, lot of essays are there which will may be useful to uh, 
uh, understand the basic concepts of Cyber Siddhantam. So please subscribe even if you are even if you are in Malaysia or in US, we have giving we have been giving the details of the persons to be uh, contacted. Their phone numbers have also been displayed. If you are interested, please kind, kindly contact them. And if you are in India, or if you want to subscribe for anybody in India, you please contact the two numbers we have displayed. Please show the other player. Yes, there are two numbers. These two numbers are WhatsApp numbers. If you are not able to contact the numbers, you just leave information in these numbers, WhatsApp numbers. They will again contact you or they will again contact you through WhatsApp. Please subscribe. Uh, also help your friends to uh, subscribe to these issues. With that, I am just concluding this session. Let us meet next week, Saturday, at the same time, 12 o'clock. Thank you. Thirichitrampalam. Then, Nadu Daya Sivane Bhotri, Enna Attavar Kungireva Bhotri, Vettivel Muruganikku Arohara, Thirichitrampalam.